Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Green Lucas, and welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost gameplay where we're playing on Castle. And as you saw just there, there are all the things I'm using for this round while I'm playing on Castle with Ghost and the Call of Duties. And I'm going to be killing people, shooting people, and that's, you know, guns. Guns kill people, not people. People don't kill people. If somebody says difference, you gotta tell them otherwise. You're like, man. That's not what happens. You should know better. It is guns that kill people and the people who don't kill the people because people go to the jail and the jail you get butt fucked and killing is bad. So don't do it because it's wrong. Anywho, we're going to get right off the track of fucking people in the butthole. And watch this where I'm actually fucking other people in the butthole because they get butt hurt and I go really well because I am, you know, I'm, I'm top shit. You know, I'm top shit. Everybody should know that by now that I'm the shit. Nah, I'm really not. If you ever got in the game with me, you know, you'd realize how bad I really am. And I'm just pretty much lying to you guys' faces. So I apologize for lying because lying is bad. You shouldn't do it because it'll get you in trouble. And then you go to jail and jail isn't fun. Because you get fucked in the battle. <laughs> so guys, as you can tell, this is going to be a really... It's been really, really good lately uh, for all round. I've been starting a new job. I've been... I know a lot of things have been working positive uh, lately. Like with my, a lot of my friends have actually been going, like been going to a lot of parties, hanging out a lot, and actually doing a lot of really cool things, which has been absolutely awesome. I've been absolutely loving the last couple of days, guys, and I really, really hope that you guys have been enjoying it too, because it's just outstanding how I know how different things have actually gotten uh, since I've actually started. And it's all uh, different things that you actually do in your lifestyle guys that actually can help you in the future whether it be uh, going for a job if it be making new friends it could be absolutely anything that you're doing that could actually help you in your further career and I guess just making you a better person is merely uh, what I enjoy and being a better person to me is a lot more than just I don't know um, oh, it could mean a lot of things like a lot of you guys could actually just want to be a better person merely so you get a girlfriend so you could actually become somebody who you want to be and all these different things and actually work down a track so you can actually become something that you want to be and I guess that's a big thing for me because I really just want to be a all-round guy where a lot of people want to talk to me uh, a lot of people just want to hang out and have fun because I'm that fun like I like to have a laugh I like to have fun I don't like to be bored or not having fun at all Merely for me, it's like, what I enjoy is just having fun and just, well, having fun. I know this is a big ramble on of actually saying fun, 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 fun. But that's what life is, guys. you got to have fun. you got to enjoy yourself. You can't be miserable. And if you get miserable, well, unfortunately, things do start to slip downhill. And, well, you're not going to be smiling. You're going to be, oh, why is this going to happen to me? Why me, me, me? And not... Yes, 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 let's go party, let's go, let's go pat this animal because awesome. it will be fun and it'll be awesome and shit, I don't know, I like kangaroos, yeah, because I'm Australian, and no, Australians don't do what people think Australians do to kangaroos, if anything, we have a kangaroo license and we like to, like, you know, that's our car, we don't have cars here, kangaroos are our car, we get into their pouch and we start jumping along and start jumping away and go to work and all this all the random shit that you think Australians do. Which half of it's not true. Apparently we fuck koalas here, which isn't true. Or kangaroos. I don't know. I don't know what the rumors are. All I know is the one because I remember seeing it on um uh on Syndica or something. Uh, actually I think it was Jericho and that talking about Australians. And I don't get how the Americans don't like Vegemite. Like they eat it with a spoon. You don't do that. You merely get toast and you butter it and you eat it and stuff like that. You don't I don't know, I don't get how people think you eat it with a spoon like Nutella. Um, even I don't do that and I'm Australian. I reckon that's very disgusting and weird. So if anyone tells you to eat Vegemite with a spoon, don't do it. It is quite disgusting. Do it like that. You can't handle a mouthful of Vegemite. I, I, d I don't know who can handle a mouthful of anything. Hey! <laughs> but guys, this is... This is just an Australian way. We don't have Vegemite full of spoons and stuff like that. I don't know why people think we do that. I don't do that. Nobody does that. So don't ever think we do that. Because we don't. 
So, with the moving, uh, actually becoming who you want to be, it's pretty much getting back on track. Pardon me, my nose is a bit funny at the moment. Uh, if you guys want to be a better person, it doesn't exactly mean that you have to uh, have a job, have a car, because you could be 15 or 14, pardon me, and actually have somebody in your life that you got to look after. If it would be a younger sibling, a girlfriend, your mum, your dad, your nan, your pop, it could be anybody you're looking after at the moment. And it actually helps out a lot if you're actually uh, positive because they can feel that positive vibe off you and it can actually really help them get through a rough day. And that's what I highly suggest for you guys to do. Uh, if you have a down friend, don't talk about it. I recall this from when uh, I, one of my friends was down. The best way that anyone can get out of anything to become happy in themselves and actually be somebody who they want to be, make them smile. If anything, you know, from a... Throw them a beer and just be like, unless you're underage, don't drink. Um, throw them a beer and be like, come on, man, you know what? Let's let's go to the pub. Let's walk to the pub. Just laugh about it, have fun, get a little bit drunk, and then walk down to the pub. You don't have to get absolutely smashed. You can just have fun, talk to your mate, and just enjoy yourself. Because that's what a lot of people don't do these days. I don't understand why they actually um, just don't give them this massive burst of happiness and actually be like, you know what, man? Let's go. Let's go do this. This will be a lot of fun, you know? Let's just go down to the pub. Let's do some stupid shit because that's what we like to do. Because partying and stuff. Never really drag along with uh, what they're doing because if they want to get happy, you got to realize that they just want to uh, I don't, have fun. Be with, your, be with their mate and just get their mind out of that mindset. And if any of you guys are ever in that mindset and just don't know what to do, legit just... I know, start thinking positive, do something that will actually make you happy. Don't play Call of Duty. Actually, well, if that makes you really fun because you can pwn noobs and you can kick ass and you butt fuck them. Not in the, like, past days that I was talking to you guys about. Legit, not in that way, but in a happy way. Definitely do that and actually, even if that builds your confidence, then sure, go for it. And then after a while, go out, talk to your friends, get on Facebook, be like, hey guys, what's going on? Yeah, let's just... I don't know, go for a drive or maybe go bowling or something. Who knows what you guys can do, but really just do it. Because not only will that make you feel fantastic, but it'll, everyone else will have a good time, you'll have a good time, and before you know it, you'll forget what you're crying about. If it's an ex, don't even worry about it. Fuck that bitch. She's gone. She's missing out on some fine ass man, or if you're a girl, then if it's a boyfriend, he's, he's the one missing out, not you. He might be the love of your life and you're gonna miss him forever. Fuck that. Fuck that. If he was the love of your life, he wouldn't have left your ass anyway. So guys, honestly, don't worry about anything. Stress is legit probably the most biggest thing in, in today's life. And you can't drag yourself down with stress, girlfriends, boyfriends, fucking transvestite sex. I don't I don't know guys. Whatever you guys are into, don't get yourself down about that shit. Be happy, be strong. And guys, this is coming to the end of the commentary. I'd like to thank you so much for clicking on this. Even just viewing it helps me out. So thank you very much. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, favorite, and comment. Comment you want me to talk about next. Thank you guys so much, and see you later. Oh my god. You're so fucking shit. You're right.